Hi all, welcome to Automation Tech Stuff channel. In this demo, we are going to see the how Report Portal and Selenium can be used together to create an automated report. This demo will give you an overview of the entire process from setting up Selenium to running the script. Let's get start the demo. Once you deployed the Report Portal, then uh, here we can uh, see the uh, deployment uh, details. After that, if you are going to your browser and if you are navigating local host 8080, the uh, dashboard will come. Like a first, it will come as a login page only. Once you are logged in, then you can see the dashboard. Under this dashboard, we are having an option called launches. Once you've done the execution, you can get the report here only. And uh, let's uh, move on to the Eclipse. What uh, there we will see like uh, what are the pre request and uh, what are how we have configured here like uh, in this form uh, we have created one maven uh, and uh, test ng related uh, project this is a framework only test ng framework so in this form.xml file we have, we are keeping that uh, three jar files that is related to that uh, report portal the first uh, important jar is this one report portal uh, java agent is required and uh, we should uh, keep this uh, log4j also like uh, we have uh, uh, configured by using log4j only so this also record and uh, one more thing is like uh, we are having log4j in this log4j we have to keep the up under as a report portal up under then only uh, when you are logging anything then it will appear in that uh, execution if you are not using log4j then the screenshot and uh, log will not appear in that uh, uh, report portal so next one is uh, report portal dot properties here only we are giving like a uh, which url we want to uh, navigate and uh, uh, where we deployed that report portal right that url uh, that url we have to give it here and this uid we can get it from the report portal itself and um, launch name we can give and uh, this is the project name project name we can give here as well and uh, we can give it in uh, our report portal as well and uh, we are having too many options called uh, like a description attributes we can add and uh, converting image like uh, if you want to black and white image we can make it this as a true if you want to color image then you can make it this as a false and they are providing the default mode and a debug mode as we already seen right like we are having default and debug mode so that also they are providing and we can rerun the test case also like when you are turn on this rerun option then uh, it will not create new report it will uh, update on the existing report so rerun option also they are providing let's see like uh, where we can get these details in the report portal like uh, in our uh, profile we can get the details like uh, we can just copy and paste it there uh, the details the folder should be there in under uh, this source test resources only it should not uh, there in some other location uh, if it is there in some other location then it will not update uh, as of, as per our requirement after that once you done this one and we are using the listener also like um, we are listening each and every execution details by uh, using listeners in this we are uh, listening this uh, particular report portal test ng listener so when you are using this report portal test ng listener then um, it will listen each and every execution details so after that it will update on the uh, report portal uh, only this much only we are having in this after that uh, in your uh, this one is a base class in under this base class we are keeping all the chrome related like a chrome initialization um, other than this we are not doing anything here after that uh, if it is so your uh, test case is having 100 of test cases we have to use the log 4j after that uh, we are calling that log and uh, if it is an info message or some other fail message or fatal like uh, based on the uh, cycles we can give it here 
like now i given like a take a screenshot code here so whenever if we if we run if we are running this code then it will take the screenshot and attach them into the report portal this is how uh, we are uh, logging all the details uh, here to there and uh, here i have given the error logs and the info logs and um, this is how we have to take the screenshot by using rp message file like um, in log4j this is how we can uh, this is how we can upload the screenshots like uh, here we are we have given the take screenshot method it will take and upload it into our uh, report portal and other than this uh, there is no other things required only thing is like a uh, report portal dot property is required and pom dot xml is required and the test ng dot xml file here we are uh, using the listener after that uh, we are using the log 4j for uh, logging all the uh, execution details uh, the final one is in the under uh, test cases we are calling just logging uh, log methods and uh, we are uploading all the logs this is how we can uh, integrate it uh, there is no other things is required once it is done, then just to go to testng.xml file here, just to run the script. Automatically, it will update in our uh, uh, report portal. Let me show you like uh, that real time execution detail as well. Now it is taking time to open the, yeah, it is opening the Chrome browser. Now I will open the report portal here. Yeah, under launches. We can get the detail now it is executing right like uh, you can see the uh, points right like yeah now it is executing so this is how we can integrate it i hope uh, you can understand this uh, how we can integrate to test ng framework and uh, they are supporting not only test ng framework they are supporting many framework as of now, I have created the video for uh, test ng framework. Maybe if it is required, you can ping me in that uh, comment. I will uh, try to uh, create the video for uh, JUnit and JUnit 5, SOAP UI and other uh, framework as well. They are uh, supporting for these many frameworks like uh, test ng, JUnit and other frameworks. And one more thing, if you are unable to deploy it by using Docker, then you can use the Kubernetes or you can use the SQL as well. Uh, that option also they are providing. In this um, particular document page, they have provided all the uh, details. And one more thing I want to share it here, like um, this is a open source only. This is not an paid version. So uh, anyone can... Um, access it and uh, use it in their uh, framework so here uh, see the frame this is a open source only like uh, only the difference between the open source and uh, uh, paid version is like a uh, only getting is the difference like uh, these many bugs if you got or uh, these many failures if you got the execution should uh, stop there itself that kind of the conditions we can give it in our uh, here uh, they will give the one more page that is a uh, getting that one only the extra option they are providing in that paid version uh, other than this there is no other uh, things uh, no such other things uh, required if you have any other issues while uh, deployment or uh, when you are integrating to your uh, existing framework or new framework you can feel free to comment on the uh, comment session i will uh, check and uh, give you the uh, resolution for that yeah thank you so much for uh, watching this video if you have any doubts then feel free to ping in that comment session yeah thanks